everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Numbers FM. I am Britton Jackson, and uh, I am the music coordinator at The Numbers FM, and I am honored to be sitting here with the artist, yes. the creative, the visionary, the incredibly talented and hilarious, by the way. We've had a great conversation. Um, but I'm sitting here with Dwayne. Yes. How are you? Yes. I'm doing really amazing. Welcome to Portland. It's Thank good. you so it's, much. Well, you've been here before. I have been here before, but this has been my... Favorite, beautiful, amazing time. Okay. Seriously, yeah, it's been a really good time. And your last name's Jackson. My last name's Jackson. Stop. God damn. Okay. Wait, can I cut? Sorry, but yeah, gosh Who? dang it. You know, I know where we from, by way of what? When you said Cajun, so my family's originally from Louisiana. Mine's so when from you South say, Carolina. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I, I want to talk to you. I want to get please. to know you some more about please. this. Please. Okay. Okay. Now, you're getting ready to go on stage, and I just have a few questions that I want to just check in with you about. Yes. I'm really curious. What is bringing you joy these days? That's a really good question. Thank you. What's bringing me joy these days is, like, my I'm, I'm like, the biggest optimistic and dreamer, and, like, I've done so many tours and made so much music, and, like, in the past six months, I've made the best music of my life. I'm on my first headline tour. I have all these festivals. I'm very much in love. That's what's bringing me joy. That's okay. Like, congratulations. You know, also, like that is sexy. Like, thank you. I, yeah, like I agree. You said I'm in love. Like, I agree. Like that's that's really what's bringing me joy, and and it's cool because I would hear songs and artists talk about love, and I would be like, oh, I, I thought I had so much pain in my heart from growing up, and I was like, you know, I talk about real stories and my dad not being there, and like my mom not, you know, digging my music at first, and. I was like, why are they talking about these girls and who they love? And once you fall in love, and it's just different. And like when you can talk about it from a real standpoint to where I have, and it's just been like the most beautiful experience. So that that joy is coming to me from that place at the moment. It's really cool. That's phenomenal. Yeah, and I'm you just taking what? in every moment too, like to be like I'm thankful for today. Yes, like step, yeah, it's one step like, at a time. Especially it's really these cool. Days. Yeah, and like my biggest thing lately has been like. Everyone says, how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm feeling in alignment. An, the world ooh. is still trying me daily. Always. But <laughs> Always. luckily, I am in alignment yes. to be able to deal with this BS. Understand. Um, yes. Now, you, you just said something, and you were saying it took it took your family a little bit of a while to like catch on to your music and yeah. your style. Yeah. What was the struggle there? Just growing up in the South, and you oh, know, yeah. I know you say you're from South Carolina. Oh, yeah. So exactly. you know, being being from Houston, like my parents, you know, my stepdad was a pastor, and my my mom was in the church, and my but my dad was a crip, so I was like, we grew up in super heavy in the church, man. Yes. And, and so like they, you know, I dress and do what I want and try to be sexy, and my mom thought I was just kind of strange for the longest time, and. We had a long call of just like, are you? She thought I was just like gay, yeah. which I, I feel like I'm just a very fluid person. And Absolutely. after we had that conversation, she was like, this is amazing. We became best friends. So it was like we had to talk because we never talked growing up. Like it, everything was under the under the rug, yeah. you know. So that's that kind of took them a while. And then after that conversation, they saw a show where kids were freaking out. And it was like, I get it. And then I was able to buy my mom stuff for, for her birthday, too. And oh, she and said, it. okay. <laughs> And then I was able to pay rent and get a okay, house. Okay, baby. Well, well, thank you, baby. Yeah, exactly. She was like, "Oh, this is working now." So, like, yeah. So it's good now. Okay. But it took a minute. Congratulations and shout out to moms. Yeah, and I love that lady. Getting out of those old traditional yes. ways of thinking 100%. and recognizing that, like, that does not have to be the no, way of the world not at today, all. and they too can take themselves out of those mindsets. Hundred percent. Oh, I try to every phone call. I'm like, maybe you should try this. Maybe watch this. Read this. Like, and she's like, yeah, maybe I'll. And like, I love that. Because as a kid, I can never be like, Mom, you should do this. She's like, Nigga, like, no. Nah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not listening to you. Go, like, you know, we got stuff to do. But, like, now she, like, takes my advice. And yeah. it's really cool. It's really that awesome. That is stunning. Yeah. I, my mom passed away some years ago. And I'm sorry when you say that, thing, thank you, yeah, she she was a light in the world. Like, yeah. when I tell you, she said it's a beautiful day up until her dying day. It was, yeah. It was See, I'm incredible. trying to be like that. Yes. I'm like, she just like has that. something in her soul that I was like, I, I can't. I can't emulate that. I, can. I want to get close to that. But I love that you're saying that you're best friends with your mom. Yeah. One of the things I said to my adoptive family this year with, on Mother's Day, because it was really hard, was like, I just wish I had the opportunity to be best friends with my mom as an yes. adult. Because 100%. there's so many pieces that you don't know about when you're growing up. So true. So you yeah. have that that space to do that. And I'm glad you're really like Thank with you. that. with your Yeah, family. it's really important because as a kid, you see them and it's just like they tell you what to do and you listen. You don't question anything. Yep. And do as an adult, thing. exactly. <laughs> you can like be, you know, you can like bounce off ideas and it's really cool. And it's, it's awesome. She tells me about her hair and what she's trying to do in yeah. college. And I'm just, I love those conversations. That's phenomenal. So, yeah, it's now, awesome. Now one thing I just can't 
ignore yeah. is your skin. Yes. Like, why is the glow like this? Oh, my goodness. What's the regimen? Is it just water? Like, what are you doing? Seriously, because I hope, do people tell you that often? I hope, I hope that's okay for me to say to you that your skin that's is That's why stunning. I just, like, cover, because, like, yeah, man, falling in love will make you do that, because, like. Is it love that, juice? It's love juice a little bit, and then she has the best skincare routine, and just when we're out, I don't know, people be telling me I'll be going more than her, so it's inspirational to keep going, so. I took her skin routine she had and stepped it up times two. What? So yeah, it's a it's you know human race the yes. uh, the skincare about yeah. Pharrell that's what I use. Yeah. Ooh, it's Pharrell skin is out here on a hundred. But I got so. a little chocolate, so I'm like you know I'm gonna do a little double rub. Okay, and then we good. Like, yeah. Come through chocolate drop. Yes. Okay, okay. I, I I only got I only got a little bit of time. Um, <laughs> Thank you though, I appreciate. Absolutely. That. This is your first headlining. Or, First headlining tour. Yes, it is. Like, congratulations. But what feels the what feels different from being headliner versus not headliner? I'm going to tell you a lot of things that it feels different. You know, you got to sell your own tickets. And you got to, like, you you play in front of – we played in front of thousands of kids. And, you, you know, you think you're grabbing all of them. And to be able to do a headline tour to where you can go to cities and, and sell 50 tickets, sell 60 tickets, like, sell 100 tickets, like, that's – I don't know. To me, that just means a lot. Like, cause I know I have a lot of friends who are so talented and have hit songs. I don't have any of that. You know, I just like play a good live stage and a good live show, and I just put out my first like really good song. And to be able to have kids be able to come all around the world, it's just it just feels important. I mean, that's the that's the difference to me. You know, it's on you. Yeah. Like it's yeah. not on anyone else. Like I talk to my team these days, and I'm like, we have to do this. Like no one. Like I have to let people know that we're here, and like it's on me. And that's yeah. It's not pressure. It's like really beautiful, but it's uh, it's a little nerve wracking. Sure. Like it really is. Like I gotta be honest. How many years young are you? I'm 26. Okay. Yeah. I'm 26. Yeah. Looking 19. I oh, know thank that's you. Right. Come on, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. No, I. It's like it's like it's it's kind of a lot of pressure, but I I feel like the kids that are coming to the the, the Dwayne's World tour are gonna get like the most just raw and real experience and that's that's what i'm really proud of and i'm I'm happy about that and that's what i see i see an energy about you i was thinking about it on the way over here because i've listened to your catalog mm -hmm. and i was like the thing i can tell that comes off of you is authenticity totally and i can also feel like longevity thank I was like, you so like i was like you've got that's that. our that's word that's the it thing you've got is yes longevity. that's our word sense that in thank you, you. thank I you so much it. yeah i i really appreciate that because we i mean we we have a really good live show and now we're getting into acting. Like, I just booked my first commercial. Ooh. We're doing stuff like that now. And just being able to be around people that are inspiring me in more ways, in different mediums. Yeah. So I feel like now that the music is finally connecting, now we're on commercials. Now we can get into a different medium. As far as just really just talking to people, I think the brand can be way bigger than just what I'm doing on stage. So that longevity means a lot to but me. that's home. Yeah, it's that's like home. It's center stage when she said, it's here. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it's at a the hundred, bar. Oh, 100%. That is home. Yes. Do you feel your your purest and your most live self? I was a professional ballet dancer, and like, it's Hell something about yes. like, you go out on stage and you it. just come, become something different. You become, yeah, so, yeah, it's my most purest, my most rawest state, because it's my real self, but I can't be, like, I hump the stage, I'm yelling. I can't be yelling at people. Like, I have a very soft voice, so when I talk to people, I want to give them love and give them comfort. But when I'm on stage, I get to, like, rip it, rip it apart, because that's really how I feel, because I'm like, this music's so good. You don't even understand. So okay. being on stage gives me that. So it's definitely my raw, you know, most beautiful on place. Stage, Pat LaBelle. Pat LaBelle Come get on, on stage, kick them shoes off. Oh, 100%. And roll 100%. And do all of them. But look at her now. Like, she, like, doing music still, but <laughs> yes. then she's selling stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to, I want to be in that space. I really do, and I, I feel it. like we have the ability to do I it. I feel so. it. It's happening. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely happening. Yeah. Um, which, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm dancing around because I want to no, make sure. No, um, you're fine. Going, staying in that, that realm of authenticity, um, I know that Die Out Here is yeah. the, the newest single that yes. is out, and it is, like, it's Boom, the first man. song that's like connected with people. That's why I'm. Re I mean, also, Die Out Here is one of the reasons I'm really happy right now. Okay. Because it's on radio every day, and I'm on an indie label. Like I've never, we've never, we put out good songs, and I've opened up. For, we've never had a song just connect with people, and it feels that timing hit. Yeah, it, like it needs it. The world needs yeah, it. Yeah, like it's, you have it's resonating with folks. It's resonating, and it feels good, man. Because like people see me, and there's like potential. I see it. I get it. But when Die Out Here came. 
people that I love and idolize hit me about that. And I was just like, we're on the right track, yeah. you know? And I always knew it. Like, you know, I'm crazy enough to believe that we're going to go crazy and be the biggest rock star in the world. But to have Die Here be the first song we drop and connect, it's I'm gonna tell really you, cool. I love it. I love it. What Thank really you. resonates in my spirit is Jungle. Really? Jungle Thank slaps you. slaps me straight to the ground on a concrete. Hell yes. And I was just like... That's my partner's I mean, favorite, too. I was like, bop, bop. Like, it yeah, was like, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it to be right in my throat because I wasn't ready for like... I was like, wow, you're really like telling your history. You're yes. really telling your story. Yes. Story and, is and my most is important thing. And beautifully told. Thank and the, you. The, the, just the arrangement. I was just like, what is happening? Like, that means a lot to me. That jungle, like... I, is it hard to be that vulnerable for you? Not at all. Oh, okay. Like I was talking to you before. You were... <laughs> like, exactly, because I'm a cancer. <laughs> I will I let you know. <laughs> I will let you know. And that's the thing, too. I love that you say vulnerability because in rock and roll, people don't tell stories mm. from a place, from that place. You know what I'm saying? So I think we have a kind of new insert to where we're telling these stories and like it's being so vulnerable and just being ourselves, man. It's really cool. Thank you for like, really like, incorporating cool all of that. And one thing I also wanted to say, because I was, I think I checked out another interview that you did and they were talking about you being alternative and doing rock and roll. Yes. And I, in the back of my head, it, I was saying the whole time, I was like, but black folks created this. Yeah. You know, and oh, it's can weird. Can we please it, talk it, about it's that? It's weird when, like, <laughs> we're not allowed in spaces and genres that we created or we're looked at strange or, like, our Come own, on. you know, folks look at us strange please. and treat us different. I was like, y'all know we y'all did Y'all know this, we, right? we were like, here time ago. Way back. Like, <laughs> way back. Before Little Richard. Before I, Little Richard. Black, I forget her name. Sorry. But she used Big to, Mama like, Thornton? Yes. She was up Yo, there on stage and like shaking okay. herself up and cursing. I know. Nasty. And talking about the cops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I was at the bar, the cops came, and I, I was like, she was trying to fuck somebody on. She was like, I was trying to have a good time. And this cop came messing up my I was style. was minding my home. A big church lady. She like thick as hell, fucking ripping on a guitar. On the, yes. Tell like, me her name again. Big Mama Thornton. Big Mama Thornton. Yes. yes. Talking about bangers. Big, I mean, Elvis did one of her songs like Hound Dog. You ain't nothing but a hound. Yes. Dog. Like that's big mom. Like me and my shorty, we have like fifty nights sometimes at the crib where we just get super messed up and drink drink a lot and smoke cigarettes and we just listen to like fifties and sixties music. Just all black artists that came yep. before these big rock music musicians. And it's I hate to say it, but it's true. We did it. We did. We did it. And and we did it in a beautiful way. And I just want people to understand that it's still hard to like break through these days. Like people are still calling me like a hip hop artist, and I'm like, I am making rock music, and it's just like, it's funny to me. It's really, 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 you really, also, really. But funny. you also have a gift that like is very rare these days, which you can actually sing. Thank you. <laughs> you can actually rap. Thank you. you can Shout out to my rock. dad. Thanks. You have you have the <laughs> trifecta going on, if if not more. I mean, if, so I growing up in D.C., I went to Duke Ellington School of the Arts, and Hell you yes. had to be. I came from the era where you had to be good at acting, singing, dancing, yeah. improv, character dance, the whole nine. Yeah, and I'm just like y'all don't understand. Like, yes. <laughs> like, yeah, you from D.C. Too, that's this? fire. That's fire. Yeah, y'all are mad talented there. It's mad talented. I people tell people there. all the time. They be like, "You're so talented." I be like, "Child, it is a million of us down yeah. on the same block." I promise. Cooking <laughs> like <laughs> work, like mad good at everything. I love that. Um, I love that shit. I'm gonna close it out with a few more questions. What are you doing? What do you do for self care and wellness? Like, how do you care for your voice? How do you care for your stuff? It, you, when I came up in here, Palo Santo was was loud. Yes, and I was it was. For it. Yes, it, it, I mean, honestly, it starts with that. Like, I uh, I do a lot of that. You know, we, me and my partner go on a lot of runs and okay. just kind of go have. We do a lot of conversations. That's what I've been growing into the past, like maybe two months, to where we go have conversations with her parents, older people, to give us more game on what mm. what we should look forward to in life. That's the self care for me, and then just being like happy in the moment is a, a big self care moment for me. Just being like, I'm thankful. Sorry, I'm just taking for real, kind of for to real. Grab some of that. And, and to be honest, <laughs> I've been. I know this is a little funny, but I have this app um, called Finchy, mm -hmm. where it allows you to grow a person from from birth to till they get old, and you list your goals every day, and it, it you go on adventures, and I. I do my goals every day. So on like a it. modern day, it's like a uh, Gigapet or like it, yes. a Tamagotchi. Yes, literally. Oh. And it's a little bean. You can dress. You can dress them up. You can do whatever you want with it. But to be able to allow myself to put my goals down and check them off at the end of the day gives me the craziest satisfaction. So having conversations with people, loving myself in that app has been a, a really happy moment for me the Finchy. past few months. Yeah, Finchy. Huh. Yeah. Hey, Finchy, y'all need to um endure what's T. Yeah. Y'all need to No, for real. I, I talked about it in the past interview too. Like it's really, it's really helpful. You can just get on it and 
and kind of list your goals out for the day. And when you check them out, even sometimes you fuck up and I'm like, I'm not going to smoke today. I'm not going to drink today and I'll do it and I'll cross that goal out. But the next day I'll remember, you know, stuff like that, that helps me a I lot. Think the, the key thing in those moments is to recognize like, it's okay. Don't stress yourself out about it. You fell off one day. You it's did. okay. You guess what? You probably needed it that day. Yeah. We used to, we, uh, I want to get into the, the the habit of not shaming folks for like doing the things that they need to cope for the 100%. moment, like whatever. Oh, I'm a like, big coper. Like, <laughs> I'm a big coper, man. No, I'm not, man. I'll talk to my man. I hate to like man, do it. I'm a big coper. I really am. Like I know how to deal with shit. Yeah, I, you know I'm so emotional, so I have to sometimes. Come I'm on, like, Carl Thomas. Pfft. I'm like, <laughs> for man, you ain't lying. I need to put that in a song. Please do it for real. Yes. I'm so emotional. Ahead, like, I need on. to deal with this coping mechanism. <laughs> um, <laughs> For real. What advice or gym would you tell your younger self? You're already young, but, you know, even further back. But just back in that time where, like, what do you, what you're experiencing now? Yeah. And all the things you've come out of the fire with and learned and gained and, and had to go through. What would you tell yourself to prepare? Or would you have any gyms that are I would. Because I, I try to keep him, like, right here on my shoulder because we be looking at each other every day like, this shit tight. Like, damn, we really doing it? But I would just say don't stop and just keep believing. That's all. That's all. Okay. Like, yeah, I mean, like, him leaving home at 19 to go to L.A. and, like, chase a dream. Mm -hmm. I a think about it as a 26-year-old. I'm like, that's scary. Yeah. But at 19, I was like, this is what I got to do. So he was strong already. Yeah. And I would just tell him, just keep you doing what you're doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of insane. So, yeah. so I would just tell him to keep doing what you're doing. You're, I'm proud of you. You did good. Wow. Like you believed in yourself. That is magical. That's all. Well, oh my gosh, I wish I could sit here and talk to you for a lot longer. We're gonna have to do you it after. Get on stage, and yeah. thank you for like utilizing your vocals before going on stage. Of course, thank <laughs> like, you, Britt. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> this is man. truly a joy. Hell truly yes. a joy. Yes. Thank you so much, you all, for tuning into the numbers. This is Dwayne. Yes. Where can people uh, check you out? Please, I mean. IG, Twitter, yeah, Dwayne, Spotify, Die Here just came out here. We're dropping a new song called Good Mood Tomorrow Night. Cool. Uh, and we got more gems after that. Please so. send them my way. Uh, we want we, we yes. we're a radio station. We play the clean tracks, and I, I would oh, love to. Oh, we got to, clean like, tracks. Yeah, yeah. All, we'll, we got you. Hundred percent. Seriously, we would definitely send it to y'all. And Please. yeah, thank y'all, man. Dwayne here. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. For the you. Love. Hell yeah.